tell you a story. I was at the comedy store for the King Gong show. I normally get that wrong. But I was standing on the side and I was preparing my rehearsed comedy gig. And this guy got up in front of me and it's the second half of, anyone familiar with the gong show? Yeah, seen that, eh? It's, yeah, pretty gruesome. And this guy got up in, before me and he's a pretty experienced comedian. And he just stood up, gave his pause, he was about to deliver, and someone from the crowd stood up and went, tank top! And the whole audience were booing this guy something chronic. In fact, it took about an, one minute, for, they wouldn't let up, one minute, 42 seconds, the crowd kept on booing. He hadn't said anything. Now, if some of those of you who don't know, the gong show is specifically there for audience members to have a go at the, spe you know, the, uh, the comedian. They're looking for a reason to throw them off, so they're not... They're not sort of your, your, your friendliest audience. But, you know, the, the compere said, well, you know, how can I throw this guy off? He hasn't said anything. So, you know, this guy who was controlling the crowd sort of got everyone to be quiet. And then he said one sentence, and I remember, he goes, people from Bath, and he was going to make some wisecrack about having a bath. And this guy went, boo! <laughs> and that was it. You know, he was booed off, so another 40 seconds or so of booing, and that was it. He had to walk off with a record time of up to five minutes of zero seconds, right? He had hit rock bottom in stand-up delivery for comedy. Now, you can imagine what I looked like. You know, I, was, I was on the side thinking, oh, I'm next. Next to go up right behind this guy with that audience. And, um, but I knew one thing. I knew this. You know, I, in that moment, I got a source of inspiration. I thought, hang on. This guy has gone up there and he's experienced the worst possible experience. He was my inspiration. I thought, well, if he's had that type of experience, I can only have a better one. Right? I only need to last for one second, five seconds, and I'm already topping this guy. So I did and I survived to one minute, 36 seconds before I got booed off the stage. But the point of that story is that what I walked away with was the fact that having such a low experience in one's, whatever, presentation skills, etc., can only build confidence because every step from that way is up. Every step. And that's what each of us have here, that opportunity is to apply tools and techniques, which you'll be learning today, to better your presentation skills, gain confidence, and overcome fear. Does that sound pretty exciting? Does it? Yeah. Yeah, very good. Okay. So what makes a great presentation? A great topic, well communicated. Easily followed with a simple takeaway. One simple takeaway. If you're one speaker and you've got a point, you may have a number of points to back it up, but you have one simple takeaway enthusiastically delivered with a good beginning and a good end. <coughs> Keep it super simple. KISS. Yeah, are you familiar with this concept? Yeah? Probably by a different acronym, but 